Hello, I'm Nathaniel from OutsideTheShot.com. The Canon 5D Mark II uses compact flash memory cards and the FAT32 file system. So while I've only been able to test the camera with memory cards up to 128 gigs in capacity, the maximum possible partition size for a FAT32 file system is two terabytes. The other cameras that have a Digic 4 processor and use compact flash cards are the 1D Mark IV, 7D, and 50D. Compact flash cards are more expensive than SD cards. If you already have SD cards, using an SD to CF or micro SD to CF adapter is a cheaper alternative. I use the Magic Lantern benchmark module to test the write and read speed of cards I have. One minute mode does two runs and beeps when finished. Information shown after a test will also be saved as a screenshot. The only compact flash card I have surpassed its VPG20 rating, achieving a continuous write speed of over 50 megabytes per second. I tested four SD cards with the SD to CF adapter and one with the micro SD to CF adapter. The SD card adapter seems to be capable of 18 megabytes per second continuous write speed and 20 megabytes per second continuous read speed. As long as the SD card is fast enough to handle those speeds. Magic Lantern RAW requires a higher write speed than what my CF card is capable of. I'm not going to pay $100 for a 120GB CF card that is fast enough to shoot RAW video. However, I am going to put affiliate links to them down in the description. In my limited testing, Recording H.264 only needs a continuous write speed around 8 megabytes per second. My interest in the camera is for photography. I never max out the image buffer, so the SD to CF adapter is ideal for me. I can easily download photos to my phone with the USB-C SD card reader I already own. The only SD card I have that did not work with the 5D2 is this 128 gigabyte SanDisk Extreme Pro. The camera will not turn on when it is used. The card does work with other devices. Hopefully that covers everything you need to know. If there are any corrections or updates, they will be done on my website with a link below. There are other videos on the Canon 5D too. And that's it. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next video.